Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany. So I've kind of been dying to temper and use some ruby chocolate again because it's been a little while. And I also have a new bar mold that I want to try out. So today I thought that I'd show you a really simple but delicious strawberry and ruby chocolate bar design. Let's get started. Here are the supplies that you'll need. Calibit Ruby Couverture Chocolate some freeze-dried strawberries, a bar mold, edible silver powder, lemon extract, and a paintbrush, a couple chocolate scrapers and metal spatula, some parchment paper sheets, and then a stick blender and a heat gun or blow dryer will help you with tempering your chocolate and keeping it at working temperature. So the first thing I'm going to do is just a little preparation step. I'm going to take the freeze-dried strawberries and chop them up into smaller pieces that we'll be putting inside the ruby chocolate filling. And now how small you want your pieces kind of depends on how deep your bar mold is. Um, usually bar molds are pretty shallow, so you probably want the pieces to be pretty small. So I'm going to continue chopping these down a bit smaller. Now I'll take these strawberries and put them in a bowl and set them aside for later. And just to make sure I don't run out, I'm actually going to do another little handful. Okay, now I just had an idea I wanna try. I've got my favorite nut chopper. Do you think that I can put the strawberries through it? I'm going to try it. One time I put chocolate chips, bad idea. I um, bent the blades, so <laughs> don't put chocolate chips, but these strawberries are softer than nuts, so I'm going to give it a try. Oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> Highly recommend. Instead of chopping, just put them through here. Of course, I always link the supplies. I will link this nut chopper down below. Wow, that's amazing. I love this tool. Now, just for reference, I would say I probably have about a cup, maybe just a little over a cup of the chopped strawberries. Now next, I want to prepare my mold and I will link this exact mold down below if you like it. Um, luckily, my mold is brand new out of the box, so it's already perfectly clean and shiny, but I did see a couple little crumbs that somehow got on. So I'm going to shine it up just to make sure with a cotton ball, just a dry one is fine. If, you, if your mold isn't clean, wash it with hot water and soap and let it dry and then shine it up with a cotton ball or a clean microfiber cloth. And if you have water spots that aren't coming off, you can use 200 proof food safe ethanol or a little bit of vodka. So this should be shiny now. I'm keeping the decoration really simple because I love the color of ruby and I just want, I want the ruby to show the natural color through. So I'm just going to add a little bit of silver just for fun. So to make the silver paint, little scoop of edible silver powder in a little dish and adding some lemon extract. I'm not measuring anything, I'm just um, eyeballing it and seeing if it ends up being the consistency that I like. 
I want it to be fluid but not too thin because I want the, the metallic powder to be thick enough to show. Just to make sure, I'm going to add another little scoop. Okay, now it seems a little too thick. <laughs> this is the game you play, back and forth. Kind of like when you eat cereal. <laughs> you refill the milk and then you need to refill the cereal because you want to use up your milk, but then you need more milk to have for your cereal, so then you put more milk. <laughs> That's how I think of this. <laughs> anyway, I have another video on um, chocolate bars where I test out different brush sizes, but I liked the big brush the best. So I'm going to use the big brush. Oh. One more thing, parchment paper helps here to try to avoid making as much of a mess, although you still might make a mess. And I'm just going to flick the paint onto the mold like this. And you can practice doing like long swipe swings, swing swipes, what am I talking about? Or flick straight down. And yeah, just play around with it kind of fun because they all look different and I want like a big splatter and you can do that by putting um, more liquid in okay and keep going until you're satisfied <laughs> And then we'll just let this dry, um, let all the lemon extract evaporate. Now the silver paint is dry. Here's what it looks like. And the last step is just to clean off the mold so there's not extra silver along um, the edge that we're not molding. So I'll just clean that off. And here's what it looks like. And from this side, so this will be the outside of the bars. Okay, for now I'll set this aside. And now it's time to temper our ruby chocolate. I have a video all about tempering ruby chocolate. You can check that out right here in the card above. But essentially what I'm going to be doing is using the seeding method. And for this, I'm going to take some ruby chocolate, microwave it, um, 30 seconds at a time in the microwave until most of it's melted with just a few little bits left and I'll stir it until the whole thing's smooth. It should be around 42 degrees. And then I will add these seeds, which is one third of the volume of the melted chocolate. And I will use the stick blender to help me incorporate these and it will cool the chocolate down to around 29 and a half degrees Celsius. And then it's ready to use. All right, now I've done a temper test and it is tempered correctly. It's all set up. And with ruby chocolate, it kind of gets thick the longer you work with it. So you kind of want to work quickly. Um, the chocolate in the bowl right now is 30 degrees. I'm going to use it at that temperature and I am just going to fill my mold using a measuring cup. I have a parchment underneath to dump out the extra chocolate. So I'm just going to pour chocolate into each uh, bar cavity. So trying not to overfill, but enough to create the shell. And knock it with the side of your chocolate scraper. This gets rid of air bubbles and also gets the chocolate down into the corners of the mold. And tip it over and tap again.
scrape the bottom. Okay. We're going to scrape these this way to get a clean edge. And if it looks like it's there's chocolate collecting, you might want to do a second round. That looks better. But I need to quickly clean my scraper so I can give it one last clean scrape going this direction. As I fill the, the bar molds, they get um, cleaner when you go sideways like this. They get a better clean edge. And the last thing you can do is clean off the sides. And I'm going to set it to the side just like this to let it start crystallizing before we fill it. And while this chocolate is still somewhat fluid, I'm going to add it back into my main bowl. I'm going to gently warm this back up. It's at 28 degrees right now, so we're good. If I can keep it between 28 and 32, it should still be in temper, and I can use this for the filling in the bars. All right, so I was able to carefully keep my ruby chocolate between 27 and 32 degrees. And so what I'm going to do now is my chocolate mold is crystallized and mapped. The chocolate is setting up. So I'm going to make the filling and I haven't measured any of this. I'm just eyeballing it. Really, I'm just adding what I think will be good inside the chocolate. So I've got this much ruby, and I'm going to add some of <laughs> the strawberries and stir them in. This is what it's looking like. I've got to make sure the temperature's not cooling down too much. It's 29.3. If the strawberries, I mean, they're not very cold, but if they cool the chocolate down, then I'll gently warm it back up with the heat gun. I think that's enough um, bits in there. You can see them, so there will be plenty in every bite. 29.3. I'm going to warm it up just a little bit. I think I want it to be around 30 degrees. Okay, it's about 30 degrees and I'm going to use a piping bag to help me stay clean and get um, the mold covered in each corner. So I'll quickly add this to the piping bag. Trying to stay a little clean here. Okay got my mold. I'm going to set it on the edge kind of right here and I'm going to cut a decently sized hole so that all those bits can come through. And I'm going to add like this into each mold. Around the border is important so it fills in the corner. And now going to tap it. And I'm not going to scrape it because it will pull the chocolate up. So you just try to get it as flat as you can basically and then don't mess with it too much. If the edges aren't totally clean, 
you can kind of do them by eye like this. Yeah, they look pretty good. They're full and I didn't overfill them. So they should come out of the mold clean. This one might be a little bit, but they look good. Now they've been in the fridge for about 25 minutes and it's time to unmold them. So if they don't come out right away, you can torque the mold just a little bit. And there they are. Wow, I really went a little crazy on the silver, but I don't know. They're kind of pretty. What do you think? <laughs> hope that you enjoyed making our beautiful ruby strawberry chocolate bars today. If you liked the video, like the video down below and leave me a comment. It helps me out a lot. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, today's the day. If you'd like to see something else that's sweet, just click on one of these thumbnails. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you soon. Bye!